Hi, this is Chetan and welcome to CSS Dev and UX. Today we'll be talking about a CSS pseudo class called Focus Within. We have two use cases here to see how effectively we can use the Focus Within pseudo class. So the first use case is in the header. So I have a header which is basically a ULLI and inside a header I have a drop down menu in one of the items. If you see the HTML, it's pretty simple. It has a ULLI and inside of one LI there's another drop a list of drop down menu that has four items. So this all works fine. So one of the use cases, uh, one of the ways of navigation is of course using the mouse uh, or the trackpad. The other one is using the tab key on the keyboard. So if I press tab, you see that I have some outline styling and uh, focus styling for each item. If I keep pressing tab, it goes to second, third, and fourth. But if you notice, it skipped over the, the drop down menu altogether. Now this can have issues with accessibility and even with general user experience what people would expect uh, a tab to go inside the drop down menu for each of the items. Uh, this is what the normal HTML also works uh, like. So if I just remove the CSS for a minute and show you how it works, let me tab again. So this is without any styling and if you see if I tab, goes to the drop down menu to the next four items and you put back the CSS okay so we're back so now how do we fix this issue so that so that I can tab into the drop down items this is where focus within comes in handy so what we can do now is wherever we are showcasing the drop down menu which is here so on the hover of a list item I am displaying the drop down menu so I can also with the hover add one more state called focus within so if the if the mouse cursor is uh, focusing within all the items inside this ally the drop down menu will remain open so now if we try to do that uh, using the tab keys, go to the first, second item, go to company, you see uh, it focuses within and goes to the children element which is the drop down items and I can tab into each item there and then go outside and proceed to the rest of the items. So just one line here, one pseudo class gives me access to all the inner elements and their focus state. So this is one use case where focus within can be handy. The second use case is uh, now below I have this form, a simple form which has four form fields and a submit button. So if I focus in any of the form fields, I have the default outline uh, styling that is added by the browser. But what if I want to do more? So if you see the HTML, so this is a form inside of the form. I have a field set that is a wrapper for all the field form fields. So I have a legend on top, which is uh, in this text. And then inside of which I have these form groups uh, that are holding uh, individual form fields. So now what I want to do is whenever I am on an active form field, I want the overall form to be highlighted so again I can use the focus within uh, pseudo class here I can say form focus within and if it is true then in the field set I want to add a background color just to highlight so I'm going to do a simple black with a transparency. So now if I focus on any of the form field, you see the entire form is highlighted. If I focus outside the form, it gets unhighlighted. 
if I want to take this one step ahead and I want to also highlight the individual form fields if they are in focus so I can do the same with the wrapper of the form fields called form group so here I have the form group we just copy it over and add if the focus is within any of the elements inside the form group I want this form group to also have a highlight and this time I'm going to use a white shade highlight so now let's see what happens so I'm focusing inside a field the overall form gets highlighted the individual field also gets highlighted so this gives a user uh, additional visual cue of where the cursor is now does this work it works with the mouse and the trackpad but does this also work with the tab keys let's see so if I tab uh, now the entire form is highlighted and the first field of the form is highlighted and I tab more it gets it highlights the next available items as well until it steps outside the form okay pretty cool so that's it let's see the support of the pseudo class so at the time of recording besides the older internet explorer browsers all the other browsers have good support so it's pretty reliable to use in your production websites and here we saw two use cases of how effective this pseudo class can be all right if you find this video useful please hit the like button and share and if you want to watch similar videos related to css please subscribe to the channel and watch out for more videos thank you